met my wife, uh, my, my, my wife, my current wife, when I met her, um, I was fresh off of a four-year relationship, a prior four-year relationship that, had, that you know, had gone awry. I met her because for my sixth studio album, I was going to do a short film and have the album be the soundtrack to the film. And uh, I wanted to cast her for the film. So our initial meeting was, you know, at a restaurant. She showed up two hours late, which was an initial red flag. But she showed up and she walked in with the sunshine, damn it. She walked in and was just glowing. I'm like, ooh, goodness gracious. I knew she was fine, but damn. She sounded exactly the way I thought she would, and that was dope. And uh, from there, I started just wanting to know more about her. And I, I remember at one point, she's like, do I have to call you Neo? And I'm like, no. You don't have to call you. She didn't even understand how big that was to me. She's like, what's, what's your real name? Schaefer. I'm gonna call you Schaefer. Okay, cool. And it just it just blossomed from there. The thought that crossed my mind was that men look for their mother. And as I was listening to Crystal talk, um, you know, I saw myself in her, my younger self, um, myself before I was, you know, so refined. And uh, and I kind of knew at that point that uh, she might be the one that we're gonna keep. We got married, and shortly after that came our first child, and then our second, and now. So now I got four children and a wife of three years, and I'm happy. He just loves his kids, like, and that's really rare to see a man fight to want to be in his kids' lives, and it's just so beautiful. And the reason why I decided to even have kids with him was seeing his relationship with his, with his other children. And it spoke to my heart, and it was something that I've always wanted. The co-parenting dynamic, so my first, my first two children, my two oldest children are eight and seven, and they are from the relationship that I was in before my current marriage uh, with uh, Miss Monietta Shaw. And so we've always made it a point, regardless of what we feel, what, whatever, to come together as a family and show them nothing but positivity and strength and love. And for me, co-parenting has, you know, it's still a new experience. I'm still getting used to it. Hell, I'm still trying to be a new mom, you know? But I can say that this has not been a bad situation. I'm grateful that Mo took the time she needed to go through the emotions that she needed to go through. I took the time I needed to go through the emotions that I needed to go through for us to get to this point where now it's all about us being the best parents that we can be. Me and Mo, we actually have a good relationship. We communicate very well. We actually communicate more than they communicate because he's always so busy and he's absent-minded. And a lot of times in a relationship or co-parent relationship, that can be the issue is the communication. And so where me and her work at is that I'm kind of the middle person between the two of them. Anything that needs to get done for the kids, like I can facilitate that and get it done. The day that my daughter was, my daughter's my oldest, she's eight. The day that she was born, the second I laid eyes on her, it was like, I will die, kill, and steal to make sure that you're all right. Period, period. How a father could look at their child and walk away makes no sense to me. Makes no sense to me. I knew what love was. I felt, I felt love, the, the love a man feels for a woman, I felt that before. The love a, a son feels for their mother, I felt that before. I had no idea that love like this even existed, to the point where I've tried to write about it and I don't know how. Like, I can't, I can't take it and put it into three minutes and 30 seconds. That, that, it, it, it's too big, it's too big. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting choked up right now as I'm talking about it. But yeah, that's, that's what it is.